Hi guys, Tom Morrison here, and I said I would let you know how I felt the day after my 4,201, 4,192,195 meter row uh, marathon yesterday. Um, so yeah, I'm extremely tired. I don't feel overly sore, but uh, my range of motion is definitely decreased. This is me trying to touch my toes right now. Like normally I can get down to the ground first thing. Um, so yeah, yeah. Definitely lost range of motion, and that's actually quite an interesting um, topic in itself. So your body gives you biomechanical feedback. So even though I feel generally okay, I probably could train today. My body is telling me uh, what are you playing at, basically by reducing my range of motion. Um, so this isn't normal for me. And like I said, it's not that it's sore. It's just that I just feel like I'm being stopped. So. Um, I'm going to do a bit of stretch and a bit of mobility work and get my normal range of motion back but I will probably skip on training um, hard today, maybe do a few push-ups and stuff like that there just to counteract all the pulling um, that I was doing. So yeah, so keep that in mind. If you normally have a range of motion and can quite easily do something, if you have a really hard training session and then the next day you say can't touch your toes or you fail your deep lunge test. Um, Things like that. So actually, we'll go through the deep lunge test with myself right now. So from here, yeah. let's see where we're getting to. So normally, I can just get my elbow straight down to the floor, and there, you see, nowhere near. So range of motion is severely reduced. And like I said, guys, that's my body's way of telling me, nah, not today, buddy. And um, so I'm going to listen to it and chill out a wee bit, see if I can get these ranges back. And um, yeah, have fun, do stuff that's mentally challenging because that's what that row was, mentally challenging. So give me a minute. So um, just ran through SMM and the Statistic Mobility Method, the program that I sell. And straight away, I'm able to get fingers back underneath the feet and deep lunge is done. Still doesn't feel as comfortable as normal, but it's definitely done. So check both sides. Yeah, so Whew. range of motion back um, and again first thing in the morning so I'll move better for the rest of the day so that will help speed up my recovery and um, so it's one of the things that I love about the program as well is that I just run through those movements to retest the stuff and then I know that, like I said, my muscles will recover a lot better and I won't feel as stiff, I actually feel a lot better now. Um, so yeah, highly recommend. If you don't enjoy doing stretching and mobility and stuff like that there, it just cuts everything out and it's just like, right, just do this. And that's what I love about it. So um, like I said, I use it myself. I would not try and sell it to people if I didn't use it myself as well. So um, yeah. Oh, I never want to get in the rowing machine again, though. Never. And there's a rowing workshop next weekend, too. Oh, dear. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, any questions, guys, rather than down? So just remember, biomechanical feedback from your body. If you have reduced range of motion, that's um, just from training, like a really hard session, get it back as soon as possible. Um, otherwise you'll start to, you know, it'll, it'll hinder your recovery and it'll just annoy things in general. So I um, actually feel a lot better now, I kind of want to train again, but I'm going to take it easy, do some push-ups like I said, maybe playing about in the rings for a bit. Um, let the knees rest would be the main thing. Knees definitely feel very used today. Um, and shoulders, just tired, 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 very tired. I don't I, I would never be an endurance athlete, no way. No way. <laughs>